18th Sunday in Ordinary Time, J.A. The Gospel of today, taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 14, from verse 13 to 21. At that time, when Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew from there in a boat to a lonely place apart. But when the crowd had it, they followed him on foot from the towns. As he went aside, he saw a great throne, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the day is now over. Send the crowd away to go into the village and buy food for themselves. Jesus said, they need not to go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, we have only four loaves here and two fish. And he said, bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowd to sit down and on the grass and take the five loaves and the two fish. He took he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowd. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up twelve baskets full of the broken pieces left over, and those who ate were about 5,000 men beside women and children. This morning, from the Gospel of St. Matthew, we are going to see um, or reflect on this particular reading of the day. First, as a way of introduction, you know, John the Baptist was a, a forerunner of Jesus. In our contemporary world, we can say that he is the, the, a very close friend of Jesus. And Jesus heard of his death. He, he, he was touched. He distanced himself from the crowd and entered the boat and crossed over the sea to stay on his own. But when the crowd had it, they followed him down to the place. When he saw them, he had compassion and healed their sicknesses. Now, my point, my, my reflection this morning on this reading is centered on the loaves and the two fish. You know, sometimes we think of the motley multiplication of our physical loaves and physical fish. If you keep 10 loaves of bread in your room and pray from now to tomorrow to multiply, you are making stupid, stupid of religion. Now listen to me. Compassion number one. When the crowd came to Jesus, Jesus is already having an emotional crisis. He's already feeling that his best friend has been killed. But he was still moved by compassion and healed the people's sicknesses. He is moved by love, by understanding. Now, when it's evening, the apostles came to him, or the disciples came to him and said, It is evening, send the people away. And Christ said, Don't need to send them away, give them something to eat. Now, if you read the, the Max version of this gospel, you will see the apostles told Jesus, We don't have anything. It's only a little child who have two loaves, who has five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, 
bring them to me. And he blessed them. And they multiplied. The apostles did not say, if we give them these five loaves of bread and the two fishes, what are we ourselves going to eat? The apostle did not say, what about this boy that has the fish? Would he feel bad? They brought it. Jesus blessed it and gave it to them. Now, there is one thing that I loved so much. The scripture said, after they all ate and were satisfied, they, and they took up 12 baskets full of broken bread, pieces of bread. 12. After they have given to the poor, to the, to the crowd, after they have given to the crowd, they gather 12 baskets, which means each of the apostles had one basket. Each of the apostles had one basket. The boy who has five loaves and two fishes also was egg and got satisfied. From the boy, see, you gain blessing by sharing with others. You gain Riches by sharing what you have with others. The people were hungry. The apostles had five loaves and two fishes. They brought it to Jesus. Jesus blessed it. In our crisis, in our problems, in our misunderstandings, there is always a solution. There is always a solution around us. There is always a solution around where we are. The solution to this was they did say, the apostles started thinking. Just, just as what do you have? They started thinking. We have only five loaves and two fishes. But it's not enough. It's not going to be enough. And Jesus said, bring them to me. Now, the apostles sacrificed the five loaves and two fishes to make sure the people eat. And it multiplied. One, that is already something to bless. That is already something to lay hands on. When you are having problems, look around you. Think. Think. No matter the length of prayer you, you stayed, no matter the length of whatever you are seeking, if you like pray for 40 days, you have to think the idea is coming from here. Some of us will go to churches and say, take your own loaves of bread, take it off, your car keys, your house. You, you don't have income. You have nothing at all. I am asking God to bless. What is what God going to bless? You have to keep bring out something for God already. Show God, God, I want houses. From little money I have, I have lay block. Bless it for me. And it will multiply. The bread and the fishes did not come down from heaven. It was within the crowd. The solution to our problems is within us. God used the, uh, the, the, the young boy who has five loaves and two fishes together with the apostles to feed the crowd. What you don't have, somebody has it. God is blessing you, what, giving you what you don't have through who has it. God will never come down from heaven to bless you. He will bless you if you ask for Riches. He will give you riches through somebody who has already riches. God can also bless somebody through you. We gain from giving. If it does not take, there's no give me. You give to take. Learn to sacrifice. 
Learn to share what you have with others. Learn to have compassion for others. Don't always be self-centered. After the whole thing, the apostles who sacrificed the five loaves and two fishes gained one basket each. The more you give out, the more chances you make it. The more you share what you have with others, the more the blessing come to you. May Jesus be Jesus to all of us through Christ our Lord. Amen.